Welcome to Tuning In to Sound Wellbeing, the podcast where Amanda, our sound therapy expert, unlocks the healing potential of sound therapy and tuning forks in wellness. I'm Stephen, your co-host, joining Amanda on this journey into the world of frequencies and vibrations. So whether you're a curious learner or a wellness enthusiast, our show offers you fresh insights and practical knowledge. Come with us to uncover the mysteries of sound, embrace new wellness perspectives, and experience the transformative magic of frequencies and vibration. Tuning into Sound Wellbeing is here to harmonize your mind, body, and soul. Welcome to the summer edition of Tune In to Sound Wellbeing. I'm Amanda Mackay. Together, we're going to revisit my interview with Renee Cashman on Cairns 89.1 FM radio. Today I've been talking with the lovely Amanda Mackay, tuning fork practitioner and trainer. And it is now our gratitude segment. So Amanda, we always like to focus on gratitude because gratitude and joy go hand in hand. So I might kick start off the gratitude segment today. This morning, I, my coffee machine broke down at home. So I left home a little bit earlier to grab a coffee before my Qigong class started. So I live about an hour's drive away. So I left home earlier and I got down to the bottom of the hill and I said, yes, I've got time. I can duck down into the Yorkies Knob and grab a coffee. Well, I was... Of course, because I'm in a hurry, making a quick dash for coffee, there was roadworks and there was stop signs and I had to stop. And I was like, oh, that would be right. Just when I'm in a hurry, you know, I didn't know there was going to be a traffic hold up like this. So anyway, I've already rang and ordered ahead. So, you know, I feel like I have to still go and pick up my coffee. Anyway, get through that traffic hold up, get to the coffee shop. There's not a car park available. So I have to, you know, scoot around because there's no car parks. Then, of course, I have to wait on my way back, um, coming back out of the Yorkies Knobs. That was just obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. And I was like, Renee, this stopping to get a coffee here was the wrong decision. I turn up at my Qigong class um, 15 minutes before class is going to start, which is late for me, and there's students already waiting, and I open up the hall to find it is fully packed with chairs and everything is set up, and there's no room for me to teach my class. And it's like, oh, there's another obstacle. So in all the obstacles I felt, I had obstacles, obstacles, obstacles. I finished my class, I walked out, and of course I stubbed my toe. Uh, like as if I was hitting another obstacle. So my gratitude in hitting all these obstacles this morning is that I could find peace in amongst those obstacles and I could find humor in amongst all those obstacles. And I'm also grateful that since then um, they have cleared up and my pathway getting here to do the show, I've had no obstacles. <laughs> I've been really grateful. <laughs> It seems like life throws those things in our path to see how we're going to handle them, not the fact that they're actually there, doesn't it? It does, yes, and that's why I'm grateful. Like, I wasn't, like, punching this down, I'm getting angry. It's like, oh, just, it's like a big cosmic joke. That's really interesting because I was thinking about what my gratitude is also, and it is the obstacles and moving through those things and getting to the other side that is the sweet spot that people talk about. You know, all these things that I've experienced through my life that may have felt difficult or challenging or, you know, you say, why is this happening? Why is this in front of me? But when you move through it and you can find the grace in it, you have such deep learning. And like I was saying earlier, that's how I've been able to learn so many different things that I can now help people. I can offer it in my training, in my sessions, my workshops, and that's what I'm really grateful for. So I can look back 
at so many things and say that was good because I got that learning out of it and that's how I approach things now too like you were saying Mm -hmm. instead of like why is this happening in this way it's the grace of moving through that so it's the it's gratefulness for the challenges as well because it shows you how you respond and how you might change and how you might heal and how you might progress. I'm always grateful for those things because it makes things better on the other side. Yeah, it's a real gift of character to be able to turn those difficult moments into a treasured piece of gold like you say, that can be utilised to help your own life and then you have that gift of being able, that gift of alchemy, of turning perhaps a tragedy into something that becomes a piece of gold that you can offer for others and help lift others up. And um, that's that's a real gift. Yes, and I think that's for everybody, yeah. no matter what you do, no matter where you are, we all have that opportunity, which... Is a, is a gift. Thanks for tuning in to our summer series. Steve and I will be back in the recording studio to bring you new episodes on how sound therapy, frequency and vibrations can tune your life and bring you into balanced well-being. Miles, are you ready to record our promo for Season 2 of the Wanna Bet Podcast? David, have you ever seen a grown man naked? Miles, we're not here to quote lines from Airplane. We're here to tell people that Season 2 starts August 18th. But I like Airplane. I know you do, but Wanna Bet is a sports betting podcast. Each week we bet $1,000 on the NFL teams and games that we love. Well, that sounds like fun. It is fun. And last year you picked over 60% of your games correctly. How'd you do? We're not talking about that. We are telling people that they can find us every Friday. So no more movie quotes. Roger, Roger. Electric Acid. Hey, it's Tim from 50 Years of Music with 50-Year-Old White Guys, the comedy podcast you had no idea you needed. Join Ben, Jeff, and me as we continue our musical road trip back through the years and around the globe. See, just when you thought all white guys were like Joe Rogan, you come across three educators trying to remember when we were cool. 50 Years of Music with 50-Year-Old White Guys. Electric Acid. Electric Acid.